Hello everybody, MagusX here, the Volatile Gamer, and today I'm going to show you how to do a full installation of Minecraft TechIt. And also I will be showing you how to install this fax texture pack later on in the video. So we're covering two different versions here, the version that Simon and Lewis are using in the Yogcast for their factory, and also the newest version which is 3.1.1. Alright, so let's get started. First thing you're going to want to do is get Java installed. Now, if you've never done this before, it's important that you know what your operating system bit is. So to figure that out, go to Computer, right here, and right-click and go to Properties. And you're going to see right here under System Type, if it's 64-bit, you're going to want to grab both the 32-bit and the 64-bit of Java and get those installed. And if it says 32-bit here, then just get the 32-bit of Java. Alright, next thing you want to do is go ahead and open up all these links. This is what we're going to need to install. Here's the link for the Sfax, and you also need Hamachi, and you will also need WinRAR or some sort of zipping program. So if you've already got that, you're good to go. So let's get started. First we're going to go to the TechniquePack.net site, and just go ahead and click over here where it says TechIt. Scroll down a bit. And you definitely need to get the Technique Launcher, so let's get that first. It takes a few seconds to actually load. Here we are. Go ahead and save that to your desktop. Boom. I already have it, but I'm just going to replace. All right, now we're going to go... Yes, we're going to go back. And you also want the Techic server file. Now, this is where you have to make a choice. If you want to get the, the newest version, which is 3.1.1, go ahead and download this right here. And if you want to get the same version that Simon and Lewis are using, uh, click on Server and just scroll down a bit to where it says Previous, previous Server Versions and download the 3.0.4. I'm just going to go ahead and download the 3.1.1, but it's the exact same thing, so don't worry, you're going to be doing the same thing regardless. So just go ahead and save that to your desktop. Alright, so that's good. Now you're going to want to grab, if you do want to have the texture pack, just come here and you're going to scroll down just a little bit to where you see these uh, links right here. Now here you need to make another choice. It's rather going to be the 64-bit or the 128-bit. Uh, basically the difference is, is if you could run the 128-bit that's awesome but if you find that gives you like performance issues then you could jump down to the 64-bit. I'm just going to grab the 64-bit right here and meter fire is a little bit strange sometimes so if you have any issues with this download just refresh the page and it should work a second time. So we got that file now we can close that. Now come back here, here we are. Come back and also click on the download pure BD craft. I also have videos that are just covering this as well. So, uh, oh, is it going to load? Here we go. So come down here and now if you grab 64 bit then you're going to do it again and if you grab 128 bit make sure you get the uh, proper ones. So here's the, the funny part is you're actually going to download it for MC 1.3 not 1.2.5 and I'm not sure why that is. So I got the 64 bit. I'm going to go ahead and click on the uh, 64 bit for MC 1.2.3. Oh, Okay it's add fly. So we're going to wait a couple seconds. Here we go and go ahead and save that to your desktop as well. So that's that and you're also going to want to have Hamachi. So you just go here, uh, click Conditions of Use checkbox and then download now. Get that installed. I already have it so I'm just going to skip ahead. So we got everything we need now to get TechIt and its server up and running. So let's close everything. Oh, this fax is still downloading so I'll let that finish. So here's all our files. Let's get it nice and organized. So at this point, you must have Java installed. So we're going to start with the actual Technique Launcher. First, you're going to click this, and notice that it does pop a little box up here, and then it disappears. So at this point, what you're going to do is click Windows key and R to open up your run, and then type in percentage app data. Percentage. That's going to open up your roaming uh, app data, and then you go to dot technique launcher, and then double click the one file that you're going to see there, and that should open that up. Now, if you're still having issues with this technique launcher, I have a video that covers some other issues that you may have, so I'll probably add an annotation here if you need help with that. All right, so here we go. First thing you're going to do 
and do pay attention here because this is another choice you're going to have to make. So select your ticket from the drop down and then click on options. Now, um, if you want to have the same version as Simon and Lewis, then you're pretty much already good. It's selected. That is now the recommended build. Now, do note that in weeks to come, the recommended build may change. So what you're going to do is click on manual build and that allows you to use this drop-down. Now the same version, like I said, 3.0.3, .3, that's the one Simon and Lewis are using. And if you want the newest version, then 3.1.1 is what you're going to select. Now I downloaded, once again, the uh, TechX server for 3.1.1, so I'm going to use that. Now you could go ahead and log in. Now you do need to have a premium account for this. So if you don't have that, it's definitely worth getting because this is awesome stuff, guys. So let's log in. Okay. Now it's going to do some downloading, and if you have an issue with the downloads, make sure that you have your antiviruses shut off, uh, any sort of security protect download, anything that blocks internet stuff, firewalls, whatever, make sure that's all shut off. I have another video on that as well, like I said before. So while that's downloading, I'm just going to show you a little trick that you can do to make a shortcut on your desktop. So go back to your .technique launcher folder that I showed you how to get to before, and right click on technique launcher .jar and press create shortcut. Okay, now you can drag that shortcut down to your desktop and we don't need that anymore so I'm going to close it and to get the right file or the right icon just right click go to properties and then click on make sure you're in the shortcut tab and then click on change icon and then browse go to your desktop or wherever you downloaded the technique launcher.exe and find that double click OK and OK all right, so now that we have that, you could go ahead and rename it to whatever you want, Technique Launcher or something, and we'll be happy with that. Put it with the rest of your icons, and you're good to go. You could actually delete the old Technique Launcher.exe at this point. You won't need that again. And uh, so we have Minecraft up and running. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is the server and the fax texture pack. I'm going to save the texture pack for the end, so if you want to skip ahead at this point, you can. So let's see what we got. We have the Techix server. Now what you're going to do, right click on your desktop or wherever you want to put it, new folder, and we'll just name that whatever. It doesn't matter what you name it. And then you could put your zip in there if you ever need it again. So let's open up that zip. And I'll just put it here. And then drag all your stuff right into your new folder. Give it a couple seconds to unzip. Now at this point, you're going to run the launch.bat. Now there's many issues that come with this. I have a video, so here's an annotation if you have any problems with this. So that's running good for me. That's going to do its thing. So that's cool. Now there are some changes you can make to your server.properties. Um, I'm going to make a video specifically on that just for the sake of time. So uh, by default, you should be good anyways. Um, but you may want to do this. You could double click on your ops.txt here and just add whatever your username is. That way there you have operative uh, administration or whatever per permissions on your server and you're able to make changes and whatnot. So we could save that. Yes. And so at this point, the server is up and running. Now, it's important that you always keep this black window open. If you close it, then your server won't be accessible. So keep that open. And now what do we got? Now you still need to do Hamachi at this point, so let me just load up Hamachi. And I'm actually going to show you what you and your friends will have to do. Okay, so before we get into that, I'm going to show you how to do the texture pack. So we have the two texture pack files. We have the one that says pure BDCraft in it. And we also have the one that says SMP in it. So open those both up. And you're going to grab all the files that has the SMP in it. So that's the one that has alt, armor, block image, code chicken. You're going to take all those files. Make sure that you never select these double dots, by the way, guys. And go ahead and just drag them right over into the one that has the pure BD craft in it. And go ahead and press OK. Let it do its thing. And then you could close them. And at this point, you could actually delete the one that has the uh, SMP in it. You don't need that anymore, but you will need the pure BD Craft one. So let's keep that there for later. All you would have to do at this point is open up your texture pack folder and pop that in, just like any other texture pack. So what else do we have? We have to actually get connected. So I'm going to be right back. I'm actually going to show you a side-by-side -side view of how to install Hamachi. So one second. 
All right, so here we go. We got the two computers up and running. Now the one on the left side, or the annotation here, that's what you're doing, the actual person who's going to be running the server, which is probably going to be you. And then on the other side, down in the corner, that's what your friend is going to have to do afterwards. So let's get started. First thing you want to do is go to Hamachi and go to Network, create a new network, and then here you're going to make up whatever your network name is going to be. Now this information is important. Your friends need to have this as well. So let's just call it TechIt Awesome. Okay. And password 123123, whatever. Now your friends need to have that once again. So now that that is there, your friend is going to do the same thing, but he's going to join your network. So your friend would go to Network, Join an Existing Network, TechIt Awesome and one two three one two three or whatever you have made okay so that's gonna join and as you can see on this screen uh, it does have two out of five so you do see that now quick note on Hamachi if you don't pay for Hamachi you're gonna only have five people connected to it at once so unfortunately you are limited to that number but there are other ways to do it I guess alright so at this point what you're gonna do is you're both gonna go ahead and connect so just go to multiplayer add a server now this is you once again so we're doing what you're gonna do first uh, now the name here does not matter at all so just to show that look I just put blah, 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 and server address now this is important as well your friends will both be using the same IP that you have here so check this out in Hamachi it does show a number here that's the number that you and your friends are gonna be using so my number is 5.124.69 point one oh seven so I'm gonna go ahead and click done and as you can see you got the green bars okay and now your friends gonna do the same thing so here on the other screen he's gonna go to multiplayer add server doesn't matter what you call it doesn't have to be the same thing so as you can see and then he has to put in the same IP that you use not his IP it's important that you don't use he doesn't use his IP so five point one two four uh, what was it six nine one oh seven yeah okay done now here we go. Now we can go ahead and connect. Now there is a little error that you may encounter here and I'm just going to cover that real quick. So let me recreate the error. It's with your firewall. So if you have this error where it says can't reach server, what you're going to do on the person who's hosting it, so on your computer, search for firewall and open it up with the advanced uh, settings or advanced security and uh, go right here where it says Windows firewall properties and I'm just going to first I'm going to actually show you the error itself so let me see here basically your firewall may be blocking your friend from connecting so let's see if I could get that to happen I'm gonna apply and then on the friend screen I'll refresh uh-oh it's not working see can't reach server so what you're gonna do is go to your firewall and you could rather a shut it off or you could just switch all these uh, boxes to allow it, uh, the ones you're actually going to need to switch are dependent on which uh, selection you made. Like whenever you connect to your network, you see the option where it goes home, private, or something like that. It really depends on that. But just to be safe, you could just go ahead and click on all of them and allow, or you could shut them all off. So we're going to apply that once again, and we'll refresh over here, and boom, now it works. So awesome. Let's get connected. Let's see if this actually uh, connects. See what happens. So I'll go here on this screen too, join server. And right after this, I'm also going to show you how to get this fax texture pack installed. Awesome. So here we are on top of a tree. And uh, it does take quite a bit longer when you're running Sfax, by the way. So, uh, like I said, if, you, if your computer isn't too, too great, uh, you may not even be able to run it. Okay, so uh, awesome. So here we are. Let's see if I could find my buddy. Where are you? I'll tell you what, let's just uh, teleport him here. Oh, okay, I didn't add the op on this one, I guess. Where are you? There you are. <laughs> awesome, so it works. So let's get out of here and I'll show you how to get that uh, texture pack installed. So you're just going to go into texture packs, open texture pack folder, and let me clean up some of this, geez. All right, where were we? Here we are. Here's a texture pack folder, and just drag it in. 
then you would go back to your Minecraft and select it. Now I'm not going to do it because it does take a few minutes sometimes to load, so that is a note that if it appears like your Minecraft is crashing, it probably actually isn't crashing. So just let it load, go make a sandwich, and then see once you come back if, uh, if it loaded. And then click done and you're good to go. Now if for some reason your computer in some cases might continue to crash because your, your video card actually is just not good enough. And so if that's the case, if you're not sure how to uh, delete it, because you wouldn't actually be able to access this menu if uh, your Minecraft, ca Minecraft kept crashing, what you're going to do is go ahead and click on your Windows key in R, go into your percentage app data again, percentage, okay, and go to Technic Launcher and then the Techit folder and then scroll down to Texture Packs and then you could just delete it. All right, so that is everything you're going to need to know about installing Minecraft TechIt, and I really hope this was helpful this time. I know a lot of people were having the uh, can't reach server issue, so the firewall thing here does help. Uh, there may be some other issues that would cause you to not be able to reach the server, and that would be more in your uh, uh, router page. So I guess... Um, First things first, you know, thumbs up if this was helpful. If you're still having problems, do comment, and I'll be sure to check those comments as much as possible. Uh, you know, bear with me. It could take me up to a day sometimes. I am busy elsewhere, so I'll do my best, and I will always respond, but it could take some time. If you catch me when I'm on, awesome. And uh, subscribe if you want to see more. I'm going to be starting a TechIt series soon on how to actually get started in TechIt and what you're going to want to do when you load up the game and, and, and go from there. So uh, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to get to your router page. Now, a quick note on this, though. Um, it's different for every internet service provider. So I'm going to show you what my page is like, but for you, uh, you might have some issues like uh, it won't look the same. So it's going to be generally the same idea, but you're going to have to probably figure out that out on your own. I believe there is a website somewhere that shows multiple you know, internet service providers and what to do with it, but um, I can't remember what it is at the moment. So let's go ahead. What you're going to do, uh, open up your run again, Windows key and R, type in CMD for command. And then at this point, type in ipconfig. So you're going to scroll up a little bit, and you're going to find where it says default gateway. And then at that point, you're going to put that uh, information, or that uh, IP, I guess you can call it, into your address bar of your Internet Explorer. So mine is 192.168.2.1. Okay, and now at this point, you're going to have to know your admin password and stuff. So, let's see here. Okay, good. <laughs> and there we go. Now, if you've never been in here before, then there's a good chance that it's set to the default. You could actually Google whatever your router name is and add the your router name to the Google search and also put in default uh, admin passwords or something like that. And you should actually be able to find what your password would be set to by default. Now, if that doesn't work, then maybe your parents or you've changed it in the past. So you're going to have to uh, you know figure out what that is. You could always reset the router, though. Uh, but if you do that, you might have to actually call up your internet service provider to get them to reset your connection to. So now at this point, what you're looking for is anything that would block incoming or outgoing uh, things. So another way you could do it is port forwarding. Now for me to port forward, uh, I would have to go here and uh, you know put in the actual uh, port, which is by default uh, Minecraft uses 26656, and I would add that up, and hopefully that would help. Now I, I've never had to do it this way, so I don't know too much on it, but this is just to kind of get you in the right direction. So that's pretty much all I could show you because, like I said, every one of these pages, every internet service provider has this set up differently. So unfortunately, I won't be able to help too, too much in that direction. But be sure to look up how to port forward uh, for your own internet service provider, and hopefully that helps. So once again, guys, this has been Magazex, the Volatile Gamer, and give a thumbs up if this was helpful for you. And if it wasn't, be sure to comment, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible, and hopefully we could fix this up. So have a good day. Have fun with TechIt, and peace out.